Hello, my sewing friends. This is Friday Sews. I'm Jen, and this is my sewing room, and it has not seen much action lately, I'll tell you. That's because I've been gone, and I've been doing and going, and I'm just about to be gone and doing and going again. I did not realize all of the stuff that I had to go and do in other places, like overnight and you know, away from my home were all gonna happen, all like one right after the other. I was gone last weekend for a sewcation with four of my most precious sewing friends. What are you doing? You can't go with me. You can't <laughs> I'm, I'm go sorry. with me. I'm going, I'm going on the girls trip. <laughs> you can't go with me. No, I, I have to go. I know you're a Velcro husband, but you can't go with me. <laughs> Uh, I left you my pillow. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll smell your pillow. <laughs> Why did you get in the car? What is it you need? Because I was going to see if everything's... What I was going to say was, okay, you're 20 miles down the road. What uh, did you forget? I didn't forget anything. Oh. It took way too long to remember. Okay, oh. I love you. Now get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. Okay, I love you. <laughs> This mountain of fabric is part of the spoils of that trip. And I also have a huge bag of patterns here to show you um, over the course of several videos because that, that would be a very long video. Um, all of this is gonna go into the washer here shortly. And um, I had a little bit of time last week to work on simplicity 3061, which was uh, supposed to be my dress for So Your Birthday. This is from 1959, and I just haven't had a chance to work on it. I have a lot of things coming up, and you know. Uh, so I've sewn in all the darts, and so the bodice darts are in, the back shoulder darts are in, the, let's, yeah, this is the back, the shoulder darts are in, the front tucks are in, and the back skirt is in. And I lined it, so everything was two of everything, so lots of lot of darts. I went ahead and did them kind of in bulk, got them all done ahead of time, so that when I come to that part in the instructions, I won't have to do it, it's already done. And um, I think that's probably a good idea because you're doing them, and so you, you kind of are in a zone and um, you're doing the same thing over and over. So it's easy to get it right over and over. Yeah, so uh, I worked on that a little bit, but that's really about all the sewing I've gotten done in the last little while. Uh, I, I just haven't had time. I haven't been able to be in here. I did go to Goodwill and I shopped for a couple of things and I found this. I think this is so cute. And I think that what I'm going to do is put magnets on the bottom so that it'll be magnetic. I can put pins in there, or clips, or anything metal, and it'll stick. I just think that's such a good idea. I've done that with some other things. I have this little dish that's full of pins. Works great. I love my pin cushion, my tomato pin cushion, but I love that too because you can just grab them so easily. You do have to be careful though that you don't stab yourself. I'm really obsessive about them all going the same direction. It's kind of crazy. Uh, so I'm off to uh, go on a trip. a lot of video editing on the plane. The plane is a lot of dead time where you can just do a lot of things. And actually one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to tear up this little dress which this is a Vogue dress that I really love and I I didn't do it the way Vogue said to do it and I really like the way it turned out but it doesn't fit me. It's it's made in such a way that it's got 
this panel down the front. And when you have a tummy like I do, you just don't fit in there quite right. Like the proportions are all off. So my daughter, McKenna loves it and it looks fantastic on her. It's just her colors and it's perfect. So she tried it on a long time ago and I pinned it. And so I've taken the pins out, but I've marked it all up with chalk. You can kind of see. And uh, so I'm taking my seam ripper. I'm hoping the TSA will let me on the plane with this. I think they will. They let you on with small scissors these days. And so I don't know if they take it away from me, it was 45 cents at Wawak. So. <laughs> But I'm hoping to be able to do that on the plane because things you can do on the plane are, you know, little like crochet, knit, uh, embroidery, cross stitch, and tearing things out because that's what I'm so good at. I'm so good at, you know, anything you need torn apart. I'm, I'm your girl. Getting ready to get on the plane again. Yeah, we're in Baltimore right now and we're headed over to Indianapolis, so. I'll see him when we get there. Say hi. This time I'm taking him with me. So, um, hoping to get some of that done. And here is what I did on the plane on the way here. Tore this apart. Took out some darts. Started releasing some things. I took out some top stitching front. for now until I try it on my daughter, but uh, yeah, we'll get back to that when I get home. really about it. Kind of a quick Friday Sews this week. Some of you commented when I did my Friday Sews with my mom. Uh, I didn't realize I was going to see her again so soon. So I may just try and do another interview with her and talk to her about some other things. But I got my wedding dress out and I put it up on my mannequin and it's a beautiful dress still. I love it. I, I just think it's so pretty. And, and now, you know, now that it's right there, I get to enjoy it. So yeah, I'd rather look at it than have it tucked away in a, a bag with, you know, where I never see it. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it out. Uh, I don't think the sun will hurt it because it isn't in the sun, really. I, not direct sunlight, at least. Um, you do have to be careful of that. Uh, books are the same way. I mean, if any uh, direct sunlight will hit something, you really have to be careful because it will age it and fade it out. This actually looks like it's turned more yellow. It was kind of a candlelight ivory color and now it's really more yellow. So anyway, that's it for Friday Sews this week. Let me know what you're up to. I always love talking with you in the comments. And if you want to see all of my other Friday Sews, check right here. This is a big playlist of them. You can also hashtag Friday Sews in the search bar and see everybody else's. So have a great weekend and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.